Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you um, a hack. It's a trick basically to uh, match um, a company name with its URL. So if you're managing um, contact lists, if you're running emailing, if you're running emailing campaigns, uh, this can be really helpful. Uh, and so I discovered this um, where basically you can do this on Google Sheets for free and it's in three easy steps. So there's already an article um, on the Redfish uh, to show you exactly how to do it step by step, but I'm, I'm just making this video so it can be more clear, um, especially if you don't have that much uh, Google Sheets experience. So basically um, what you have to do first is copy this link. This link is basically the um, autocomplete API from Clearbit. Um, and it just, if you paste it, um, so is it, this is just to show you, you don't need to do this. But if you paste it here and you add a name uh, of a company, uh, so for example, Trello, it's going to give you back a lot of information, um, like, you know, the name, uh, the proper name, uh, properly written, the domain, which is interesting for us, the logo, etc. Anyways, um, so we're going to take uh, this uh, link here and copy it on our Google Sheet. So you can uh, you go back to your Google Sheet. You have the, the company names here. Uh, so, of course, this is just to show you. It's a few examples. You should have much more than that. Um, and copy it here. Sorry. So once copied, um, you want to just uh, you know drop it down and have uh, one for each uh, row. Um, and now, so what you want to do is just um, we're going to concatenate this uh, cell here with this one. So we're going to create a lot of queries, uh, just like we did on the on the page here. Uh, so you're going to use the concatenate function. Gonna take this guy here and this guy. There you go. And we can drop it so it automatically automatically works for everyone. So we created um, these queries um, uh, and now uh, it's done. I think we completed step two. So step one was just copying this link to your sheet. Step two. Um, is uh, basically just creating these uh, these queries for each row uh, per uh, for each company that you have in your list. And now the step three is very easy. Uh, you just take this um, function here that I this uh, this code that I uh, created, and you copy it. You go back to sheets, and you're going to go to uh, tools script editor. So again, you go to Tools, Script Editor, it's pretty easy. It's gonna create a project here. You can delete what's out there and just paste this guy here. There you go. Once it's done, so um, don't forget to save. It's really important, so you save it. And what we did here is we created a function called fetch. And this function is just gonna find the information that is um, appearing here, uh, basically, is the response from the, from the API. So there you go. Now we can just uh, call this fetch, whatever. Doesn't matter. Save it. Very important. Oh, a legal character, line nine. Maybe it's, uh, yeah, it's been a while I haven't used this. Depending on the software we're using, it might just, uh, you know, you might just change this character here. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it worked. So once it's saved, um, you are good to go. You go back to your sheet. And now since we created a new function, we just type in uh, equal, fetch, open your brackets, and you're going to use the URL you created, the, the API call you created. There you go, it's loading. And you apply it to everyone. All right, that's it. And of course you can do this for hundreds, thousands of companies 
Um, it's unlimited. It's a free uh, API you can use. Um, just um, don't forget to use this code uh, here that I created. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, uh, it would be great if you can uh, give us some claps on this uh, article or follow the publication, uh, The Redfish on Medium. Thanks.